Hello and welcome to the Powerhouse Church of God in Christ. I'm Pastor Odell Riley here with our First Lady of Freedom Riley. Yes, and welcome to this week's Sunday School Highlights. Amen. This week we're going to be talking about the gifts of wisdom coming from Proverbs chapter 8. Yes, get your commentaries, get your Sunday School books, whatever you need, and let's study the lesson. Welcome back to this week's Sunday School Highlights, the gifts of wisdom coming from Proverbs chapter 8. Yes, uh, so we've gone from chapter 2 to chapter 8. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you read, go back and read chapters 3 through 7, you'll see lots of information that you want to have, uh, lots of things to understand about wisdom, what wisdom avoids in a lot of cases, uh, what wisdom will accomplish in a lot of cases. So you want to go back and read that. Amen. And one of the things I always encourage people to do is, Read a proverb, proverb mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. So I think whatever day it is today, read that chapter in Proverbs. Right. Uh, and as First Lady said, let's go back and catch up uh, so that we won't be uh, left behind uh, in <laughs> getting wisdom from uh, the book of Proverbs. Right. You don't want to be left behind. <laughs> <laughs> so what you would do if on the first of the month, um, so whatever, just say if this was June 1st, if it was June 1st, then you read chapter, uh, you chapter read one. the first chapter. June second, read the second chapter, and so on and forth, so forth. So we know most most months uh, you have thirty or thirty one days. So you're only going to come to that thirty first chapter, you know, every few months, mm -hmm. and then the Feb month of February you just kind of miss a few chapters. You know, one thing I would encourage you to do is read it early in the morning. Read it in the morning so yeah. that you get the wisdom, yeah. so you can take it throughout the day. Yeah. And uh, in fact, it wouldn't hurt to read it again, you know, a couple of times a day, right. but at least read it. Uh, early in the morning, make that part of your uh, daily devotional to read Proverbs right. for that day. And, uh, and I think it'll do you good as you uh, go throughout the day That's and right. you'll be able to demonstrate wisdom as you encounter opportunities to uh, know that you, uh, you're you prepared for it. So as we start looking at the lesson today, mm -hmm. uh, Bible Truth is telling us that lady wisdom uh, is trustworthy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's reliable, more valuable than the world's riches, but it refers to wisdom uh, with the agenda of a female. Yeah, yeah. So whenever you even look at God, and I know some of the feminist movements will probably appreciate this, but whenever you look at some of the characteristics of God, He's not, he's not male or female. Yeah, you know, He's yeah. not a distinct gender. He has characteristics that are feminine. He has characteristics that are masculine. Yeah. But in the Western culture, we tend to just say He when we're referring to God. Mm -hmm. But just like uh, wisdom, there are some characteristics of wisdom that are masculine and some that are feminine. So whenever you look at characteristics that you usually uh, equate with mothers, equate mm -hmm. with women, um, more uh, nurturing kind of things, uh, we tend to think female. But whenever you think about protection and you think about providing and that sort of thing, you typically think male. Amen. You know, in fact, as you, as you read Proverbs, uh, you'll see that uh, many of it is written from Solomon's perspective to his son. Mm -hmm. So from a writer's perspective, mm -hmm. it talks about father to son kind mm -hmm. of relationship. Right. But as you said, a lot of the characteristics or uh, characteristics that you would need to be healthy, to be whole right. as you engage in life. Right. Wisdom is a tool. Mm -hmm. Wisdom is a tool. So our Sunday school lesson today actually goes from like the 14th verse through the 21st verse. But we want to look at Proverbs holistically, Amen. as we've encouraged you to go back and look at the various chapters. So you want to look at it holistically, and you want to see that wisdom is a tool. Amen. If you were to look at that first first couple of verses, just say in this eighth chapter, mm -hmm. and I'll read out of the out of the uh, Apologetics Bible, and I think this is CSB uh, version, I believe it is. And that first verse says, "Doesn't wisdom call out?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm doesn't understand to make her voice heard and the second one says at the height overlooking the road at the crossroads she takes her stand mm -hmm. so it's just so um it's so inviting it's so available it's so it's so caring it is it makes itself there for you and she's there you know it's just like she is there Amen. for you mm -hmm. she's there she's approachable mm -hmm. she's uh, not intimidating she's um uh, very accommodating Hey Amen. You know, and um, as we talk about wisdom, one of the things that uh, I think it's important for us to remember when we talk about wisdom 
uh, is that wisdom uh, is not necessarily connected to your religious disposition. In fact, mm -hmm. I encourage people, you don't even have to be a Christian. Right. You don't even have to right. believe in, in the Bible to be able to get value out of right. reading Proverbs. So it's one of the things that, that I think is always important to just be able to encourage people mm -hmm. to say, you can get value out of this, mm -hmm. regardless mm -hmm. to your religious mm -hmm. association. Amen. Amen. Um, wisdom, as you said, you, you, it doesn't have, it's not necessarily tied to your salvation. It is a tool. Amen. It is a tool. And if you seek wisdom, uh, now ultimately to to do what God wants you Amen. to do, mm -hmm. ultimately you have to have wisdom to live a righteous life to do absolutely everything that God wants you to do. Amen. And mm -hmm. I, I think the uh, it's important. Uh, so as as we talk about uh, wisdom, uh, that just because you become saved and filled with the Holy Spirit doesn't necessarily give you wisdom. No, no, the Bible says, "Be no, no. a man like wisdom." No, no. That he should ask. So yeah. uh, I don't want people to think that if they get saved, if they get filled with the Holy Spirit, then they're automatically wise. Right. You still <laughs> right. have to seek. It. Right. So yeah. you have people that are unsaved right. that use wisdom. Then you have people exactly. save, uh, that save that, that right. don't use wisdom. And we, and we grow in grace. Mm -hmm. You know, we grow in the knowledge of our Lord. And so we grow, we develop. This is something that we talked about last week. You seek. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you give it uh, effort. It's, it's intentional. This isn't something that uh, is haphazard. Mm -hmm. Now, something can happen that seems like it's just incidental. Mm -hmm. But you take that instance and you study that thing. You look at that thing to understand it. Whenever you go through this chapter, there's some words. If you look at the whole chapter, mm -hmm. there's some words with the ETH right. ending on it. So that's telling you to consistently mm -hmm pursue something consistently so um as you're seeking wisdom we're going to seek it mm -hmm. continuously continuously mm -hmm. okay so we uh, read the uh, first and second mm -hmm. uh, verse going to the third one it says she cried at the gates at mm -hmm. the interest of the city at the coming and in at the door mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know yeah again you got that uh uh female uh, right. personification right there. Uh, but it also talks about she cries at the gate. When you start thinking about the gate, yeah. you start thinking about judgment. Yeah. That's typically what it, uh, back in this culture, that's where the uh, political, I mean, the uh, justice, that's where your courts mm -hmm. would be held, mm -hmm. would be at the gates. Mm -hmm. So what it's telling you is that there's going to be a, uh, th there was going to be distinguishing characteristics based on your behavior mm -hmm. that's going to be obvious whether right. you're using wisdom or not. Right. And I, I, some of the things that kind of get me there is whenever you look at, the gates at the entry of the city mm -hmm. at the coming in at the doors you know you look at uh, various aspects mm -hmm. of of uh, uh, fellowship very assets uh, very aspects of social interactions right. yeah, and that sort of thing right. you know the dynamics are different mm -hmm. one of the things that we probably want to get is a i have a little cheat sheet here that kind of shares the literary relationships mm -hmm. And I'll be more than happy to get this to some of you who may be interested in it for some of some more of our nerdy kind of <laughs> <laughs> group. But um, in this, it gives you, you know, just kind of hints of the literary relationship. Mm -hmm. So some things are based off of whenever you just kind of look at the raw data of what you're looking at, you know, just looking at the words. Right. And you can see a biography, mm -hmm. whether or not it's talking about people. Uh, you can see geography, mm -hmm. whether or not it's talking about places, uh, chrono, 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 chronology, chronology, <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> so whether you're looking at time, mm -hmm. chronological order, uh, history, if you look at a particular events mm -hmm. and so on, ideology, mm -hmm. ideas. And also looking at the literary relationships, we can see some things like in this, in this particular verse, this third verse, she cries at the gate at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. So all of those are uh, geography. We see all that's geography, but you can see, also see how that's building. So that's a uh, series of, of advancing events or ideas, and that's actually a, a climax. So you have some things in here this, that uh, Proverbs is letting you know just how important mm -hmm. some uh, concepts are and how you can just kind of zoom in on these things and focus in on these things. So she standing at the top of high places, mm -hmm. that was the second verse, mm -hmm. 
by the way in the places of the paths. Mm -hmm. She cries in the gate, at the entry of the city, and at the coming in of the doors. Mm -hmm. So it's really pounding it that right. wisdom is there. Wisdom is present, but it's for us to, to seek it because as you have wisdom, as I always say, you have wisdom, you have that compelling, that opposite voice that's compelling you to do something contrary to wisdom. Yeah, in fact, it picks up that when you look at that fourth verse, it mm -hmm. kind of goes into that. Mm -hmm. it, after it builds that, it kind of builds up on these principles here, right. and then it says, unto you. Unto you. And that makes it personal to the individual that I'm talking to you as an individual. And it says, oh, men, which would mean women, too. Mm -hmm. It says, I call. Mm -hmm. So you, you got the same thing where you start talking about, now I get your attention. I'm talking to you. Mm -hmm. Now I call you. Mm -hmm. And my voice is to the sons of man. Mm -hmm. Now I'm talking to all people. Now, I, but I do like that, how it's the woman telling them. <laughs> <You would. laughs> no, but let's not be confused. Let's mm -hmm. not be confused. This is not just a woman's mm -hmm. voice. <laughs> it's warning men. This is wisdom. This is wisdom crying out to both to mankind. And I think that's a very important point when you talk about, you start doing the personification mm -hmm. of the female uh, uh, characteristics, mm -hmm. and then you turn around and you start talking from Solomon's perspective. And right. we talked about that, I think, last week, where when you're reading, you got to recognize who's speaking mm -hmm. and, and who are they talking right. to when right. they say that. Right. So let's not uh, let's not get, get too caught up on that. Sometimes we tend to get caught up on the male, female, mm -hmm. the gender type thing. But wisdom is for everyone. And I think you made a good point when you talk about God has those characteristics mm -hmm. uh, because he's the creator. He had to have uh, all of those characteristics and in, in mm -hmm. the creator for them to be created. Mm -hmm. And so for those things to be there, we don't want to be, get sidetracked. Mm -hmm. He versus mm -hmm. she, male versus female. And and whenever you go down through the passage of scriptures, you see like in the next, it said, oh, ye simple. Um, so it said, unto you, O men, mm -hmm. I call. And then it turns around and says, oh, ye simple. So restating right. and, and ye fools and be ye of an understanding. So whenever you go through there, you can see how it reflects back, how it right. goes back and restates these things. Whenever you read this eighth chapter, what I have found in one version, I can't remember what version uh, of the Bible I was reading, but it broke it down with a 1 through 11. Mm -hmm. That was the first um, set of ideas. Then 12 through 21, that was the second set of ideals, and 22 through 31. But most other Bibles that I've read, it's just as if it's one single thought. Mm -hmm. So it goes all the way from 1 through 36, verses 1 through 36. But, you know, you can try it either way. Look at it, verses 1 through 11, you know, then so on and so forth, 12 through 21, and see if you can just kind of... Uh, uh, get the theme, if you can kind of gather the themes on those sections. That's why it's important to read different translations yeah. too, right? Yeah. Uh, you read different translations, this mm -hmm. because some will use different words, simpler words, mm -hmm. uh, like the English Standard versus mm -hmm. the King James Version. Mm -hmm. But also when you read some of the other ones that will break it down and kind of give you the, break those thoughts down right, as right. you described right, right. there. Right, thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Okay, so um, you want to read some more of those okay, scriptures? Okay, so where or what? we at? We at the... Uh, Six verse, I guess, where mm -hmm. it says, um, "Here, mm -hmm. for I will speak." You know, it, it so it, it it already cautions you before you start reading. Mm -hmm. It says, "I want you to uh, listen. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things." So yeah, I like I'm sorry, I'm sort of laughing at the puppy start. <laughs> yeah. You say. Hear, listen, and then they start barking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. They part of the part of the club. Okay. So, so again, he talks about he gives you a caution mm -hmm. that uh, he didn't just start speaking. He actually gave you a heads up that I want you to pay attention mm -hmm. to what I'm getting ready to say mm -hmm. because it's important for you. Yeah, we have to be so intentional. We have to be so intentional. It's amazing to me how you you have to be careful, especially in this day and age where the truth is not as obvious mm -hmm. as you think the truth would be, you have so many, whenever you hear the terms like fake news, mm -hmm. whenever you hear so many things like, oh no, it's not uh, system uh, systemic, mm -hmm. oh no, we don't have that. Whenever you hear so much of this sort of stuff, you, you begin to wonder if things are what they appear to be, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, so you have to be um, very intentional, very uh, conscientious of the words that's being used, very conscientious of the principles that you See, you know, really uh, do some deductive reasoning. Deductive reasoning. There are some things, whenever you go and read this passage of scriptures, it actually lets you know that 
if you think wisdom is this, it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's That's not. Right. Wisdom is something else. Right. You know, mm -hmm. as, as you were saying that, it, it's also it, it's, as we listen to people and the, and with all the noise that's going on, it's just it's just it's, it, it's almost uh, can be um, overwhelming mm -hmm. or discouraging mm -hmm. because there's just so much untruth. Right. There's just so much, and right. people are accepting so much, right. uh, and they're accepting it as though it's gospel. Right. They're accepting it as though it's true, and it's not wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not righteous. Mm -hmm. It's not true, and people are settling, and, and God just he just doesn't move that plumb line. Right. I think we have to be careful with right. that. We have to understand, know ourselves, mm -hmm. know our motives, and unfortunately, a lot of times, you have to know somebody else's motives, mm -hmm. and this is not about judging. This is about identifying the fruit. So if I'm if I'm looking at a pear tree, you know we have a pear tree don't have but a few pears on it, but we have a pear tree and it bears pears, and I can't look at that pear tree and say that's an apple tree. Right, right. So it's it's not that you're judging, you're identifying the fruit. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you simply have to know your motives. A lot of times you have to know others' motives to make sure that you're um, garnishing wisdom. Amen. Amen. Okay. So we pick up here on the seventh verse. Mm -hmm. He says, For my mouth shall speak truth, mm -hmm. and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Yeah. You know, one of the things that I find pretty incredible about this this uh, particular chapter is there's so many periods mm -hmm. where some of the other chapters you read, there's so many colons, colons and semicolons, semicolons. Mm -hmm. but there's so many periods behind each statement, almost if, as if it stands alone, but they do not. Right. And that one, you, um, for my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that it say but, mm -hmm. but it says and. So you take those together. Truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. And listen at this in that eighth verse. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Mm -hmm. And then again, I would figure they say, but there is nothing forward or perverse in them. So whenever you look at wisdom and it seems to be perverted, mm -hmm. And whenever you said, oh, whenever we, I use the word perverted, I'm not, I'm, what I mean is uh, taking wrong, uh, used the wrong way, taken mm -hmm. out of context. Sometimes people will actually try to uh, take scriptures and use them the wrong way Amen. to uh, bind you, not give you freedom, right. not liberate you, but to bind you. But wisdom, there's nothing perverse in them. And then at ninth verse says, they are all plain to him that understand it and right to them that find knowledge. Mm, mm. You know, that, that word in that uh, eighth verse, which says forward, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, when you look at that a little closer, it says that means it's not contrary to truth. Right. It's not crooked right. in them. Mm -hmm. And so it, what happens there is there's a contrast mm -hmm. between uh, righteous and mm -hmm and unrighteous exactly a, a contrast between good and evil if mm -hmm. you will. uh and, and so i think that's a, a very interesting point mm -hmm. I, and that's all within the same sentence mm -hmm. right with and, a period at the end and that's part of the literary relationships mm -hmm. part of this poetry the way this is mm -hmm. set up and you can go in in here and look at all the uh, comparisons and contrasts mm -hmm. this is just a rich uh body yeah. of, of of words right here you know just the body of knowledge right here this is, um, I don't know, I, I just loved it. I, I don't know how many times I haven't read this, to be honest. <laughs> and then at uh, night, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, I'll turn the Bible on. Mm -hmm. So Bible.is, mm -hmm. <laughs> you want an electronic Bible, audio Bible. And I'll turn that on and I'll just listen to it. And I find myself waking up and going back to the first <laughs> proverb just so I can hear it again. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing how rich some of this is. But you can see a lot of comparison mm -hmm. and contrast in this chapter. And, and it's, it's so rewarding. And, you know, when you, when you think about that, the uh, those contrasts also are things that we live every day to. Mm -hmm. For every uh, uh Truth. Mm -hmm. There's typically a, a, a something that's untrue. A per, a uh, for everything that's right, there's typically a wrong. Mm -hmm. So these contrasts uh, just are available in our everyday lives, mm -hmm. and it's important for us to recognize uh, when you start thinking about choices and decisions, mm -hmm. the wise decisions, mm -hmm. the unwise decisions. Mm -hmm. I I say things like, "There's butter, and there's margarine. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. Mm -hmm. There's a difference, and you have to know and understand the difference and what's the benefit." Right. 
What, what am I seeking? What am I trying to obtain? What am I trying to get? There's some things that we're trying to obtain that wisdom will give you. Mm -hmm. Wisdom will give you. It's a currency, just like we think of money as being a currency. This is better than gold. Amen. This is better Amen. than silver. When the silver and gold runs out, you still, you need wisdom. Well, and the beauty of it is, if you follow wisdom, if your desire is to have silver and gold, you can use wisdom to get it. You can. Mm -hmm. You can. It, and, and the, the right way. Right. The right way. And it is a, we understand that the silver and gold is a tool. The silver and gold is not just uh, to hoard right. and that sort right. of thing. What we don't want to do is put our trust and our confidence right. and make those our treasure. Okay. They're a byproduct. Mm -hmm. A byproduct. Yes. Okay, so the, the the birds are singing. I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. The birds are singing. The dogs have been barking, but uh, it's a great day out here, and we, <laughs> we're going to. I'm loving it. I guess they are too. And the gnats and mosquitoes are not bad tonight. No, 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 no. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so let's go to the. Uh, you can do nine three eleven. Okay, so they, uh, the night verse said they are all plain mm -hmm. to him that mm -hmm. understand it and right to them that find knowledge that understandeth if you guys see he put the mm -hmm. eth mm -hmm. that understandeth that uh persistent you're persistent in trying to understand mm -hmm. this is not just oh i got it and just just mm -hmm. move on there's so many there's so much depth to god there's so much depth to wisdom you can you could take one concept and you can just work on that thing just <laughs> almost infinitely you just work on that thing to gain additional understanding and ultimately what you're trying to get to is understanding the lord amen, amen. understanding the lord uh put yourself in reverence of the lord put yourself in awe of the lord the more you know him the better your relationship with him is the more in awe you become of him amen in fact we used to have this saying that practice make perfect but i kind of changed that to right, say right. practice don't necessarily make you perfect but it does make you better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody said perfect practice makes perfect. <laughs> well, but I don't know. Most of us don't, don't have to live that one. Do okay. okay. Um, he says, receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. Mm -hmm. Again, back to your point a few mm -hmm. minutes ago that we want to seek wisdom, mm -hmm. seek instructions and not silver. Silver and gold will pass away. Uh, it'll be here when we're gone, but our uh, our lives that we live and the action that we take mm -hmm. uh, is what will go into eternity for us. Yeah, and you, you think about this, silver and gold, and the next scripture actually talks about rubies. Mm -hmm. For wisdom is better than rubies, mm -hmm. and all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. So it's, it's better than all these things. A lot of times, silver and gold, depending on what age you're in, if you're in the Bronze Age or whatever, uh, these things are used for, to make tools, to make weapons, to make... Um, whatever, um, um, pottery, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, some of these things are used for decor to show your strength mm -hmm. as a country, but wisdom is far better than any of this stuff. You know, and, and, and you think about it, you go back and uh, back to verse one, where it says, do not wisdom cry and understand and put forth her voice, uh, telling us that uh, gold, silver, rubies, are precious and hard to find but wisdom is everywhere 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 and I thank God for technology today mm -hmm. because you can almost Google and find what you need on certain things mm -hmm. you can I mean we have the Bible here with us we have so much stuff that we can search for on the internet you have people that you can connect to uh, to better understand concepts mm -hmm. It's, it's just an amazing day Amen. to be able to spread the gospel and understand the gospel. Yeah, and I think it's important, you know, that we use those tools to spread, but also to improve ourselves, right? Right. That to use them as a mirror to ourselves. Right. To say, Did I understand that right? And am I walking correctly yes, with that yes. solution? I even heard, um, I even heard T.D. Jake say that he looked back on some of his earlier uh, videos, and he's. He said he wished he could take take some of that back. <laughs> you know, he's a he's a great man. I love T.D. Jakes. I love his work. I still listen to some of his classics. <laughs> but he said that he wished he could go back. Mm -hmm. So we are learning and That's we are right. growing and we're developing. We're understanding the culture where a lot of the information was written. You're understanding this is not just uh, isolated writing, but you have the Near East 
uh, ancient Near East writings and that sort of thing. So understanding uh, who this is written to and why this is written to them and that sort of thing. So you learn and you grow and you develop. It's just an awesome opportunity for us today. You know, I, I agree with that. And I think that when you go back and you start searching beyond what you've been just normally taught and told, uh, that you get a greater understanding of who God is. Yeah, yeah. Just had to <laughs> take a little break. You guys heard a lot of barking and thank the Lord for it because there was a snake and one of our dogs uh, was protecting us. So <laughs> a lot of barking that was going on there. Thank the Lord for it. Our animals. And just FYI, the snake is no more. The snake is no more. <laughs> okay. So when you look at the 12th through the 21st verse, listen at how this starts. Mm -hmm. I wisdom. Mm -hmm. So the first verse said, do not wisdom cry it. Mm -hmm. So now it comes down here and it starts talking about itself. I wisdom dwelt with prudence and find it out knowledge of witty inventions. And this is this is to me it's just so key that 13th verse the fear of the lord is to hate evil pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do i hate mm -hmm. now listen to the characteristics and this is this is talking about the fear of the lord this is the characteristics of wisdom and ultimately it gets to the fear of the lord it's interesting it's almost like uh wisdom is now testify. Mm -hmm. It's like it's mm -hmm. uh, speaking on its own behalf. Right. You had others speak about it uh, before, right? Right. Talked about the personification, but now it's like it's actually speaking on its own behalf. Right. Right. So it, it listen at this, dwelt with prudence mm -hmm. and find it out. So it's there with it. And it's almost, whenever I see that, find it out, knowledge of witty and visions, it's like it's seeking it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like it's searching it out wisdom itself mm -hmm. so it's like wisdom continuing now we're a little bit nervous <laughs> and every <laughs> everything that doesn't sound just right we're very in tune to it very alert but listen at this the 14th verse counsel is mine mm -hmm. and sound wisdom mm -hmm. then you do have the colons there i am understanding semicolon i have strength mm -hmm. so you go back and look at that strength and you look at the power and you look at that uh, the strong concordance mm -hmm. and really study that this is awesome whenever i first looked at that i thought that seems like it's just kind of you know which one of these doesn't belong you know you circle which one that does belong counsel is mine and sound wisdom i am understanding i have strength yeah in fact the amplified uh says i have might and power right both right so whenever you study that it's not as it's not as just <laughs> dangling out there as it appears to be at you know first at first glance mm -hmm. but it has power and strength and this is what we're looking for a lot of times wisdom is it's us quieting ourselves mm -hmm. a lot of times wisdom is <laughs> a lot of times wisdom is quieting ourselves a lot of times wisdom is um, humbling ourselves mm -hmm. a lot of times wisdom is um you know uh soft words turn away wrath mm -hmm. but it's still powerful mm -hmm. it accomplishing what it's setting out to accomplish you know you look at the 15th verse as a continuous of that testimony it starts mm -hmm. uh talking about the value that leaders have been able to leverage by uh using wisdom mm -hmm. by me king's reign right and princes decree justice right and you know it's so it's so important to have we talked about justice for what a quarter mm -hmm. we talked about justice for a quarter sometimes what appears to be right isn't right mm -hmm. it isn't by the standards of god it may be a world view it may be just say like us as minorities what's fair towards us it may not be the world view mm -hmm. it may not be what in the united states what the majority says is right but what does the word of god say amen that's, that's what does the word of god that's says? where you want to operate from mm -hmm. so to um which where first are we on in 16. 16 verse by me princes rule and nobles even all judges even all the judges of the earth and this still is in the way of justice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the way of justice 
the spirit so if of you justice. notice it shifted from uh you know it shifted from a uh, uh like a uh, uh kingdom perspective mm-hmm. to government mm-hmm. it shifted to mm-hmm. so it started dealing with levels of leadership mm-hmm. and i i like how it goes from these things that are materialistic mm-hmm. to these things that are principles mm-hmm. these things that are that are spiritual that are uh, govern your um, psychological mm-hmm. you know man i like that and then you go to this 17th verse i love them that love me mm-hmm. <laughs> i love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me wisdom wants to fellowship with you wisdom wants to be there for you wisdom is not making herself scarce mm-hmm. wisdom is in hiding from you but if you if you uh, fellowship with me i'll be there for you you know in the amplified you mentioned it says earlier the amplified adds and diligently and diligently right but, you know which goes back to seeking it early mm-hmm. you know if you if you if you really want it mm-hmm. then you don't it's not the last option Amen. it's an early option Amen. in, in, in situation and listen look at this uh, look at this 18th verse bridges and honor with me mm-hmm. yay durable rich uh, riches and righteousness riches and honor it's so much is done today so people can have power so people can be honored mm-hmm. so much is done to give the perception that uh, you're right and you're operating in the right fashion and this is for honor but riches and honor are with me mm-hmm. are with wisdom if you want and we shouldn't seek that right, right. we really shouldn't seek that back you, you, your reference scripture goes to matthew 6 and 33 it says seek ye first the, the kingdom, kingdom of god, god. And his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto mm-hmm. and anybody under your ministry know they should you should, we should know that scripture <laughs> we should know that scripture Look at the 19th verse. My fruit is better than gold, mm-hmm. yea, than fine gold. Not just gold, fine gold. You, today, it's very difficult to find a 24 karat gold here in the United States. Mm-hmm. You can find 18 karat gold. Uh, you may find 21, but it's very difficult to find a 24 karat gold. But if you go to some of these other places, you go to India, mm-hmm. uh, um, some of the places like Istanbul, you know, you can buy 24 karat mm-hmm. gold there. And you can you can see, see the, the difference. difference. Mm-hmm. You can see the difference. <laughs> yeah, but if all you've ever seen is fourteen carats, exactly. then that looks like pure. Exactly. You don't have exactly. You said this is nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then you see the twenty-four carry go. You might not even be able to appreciate it. Right. Right. But a person who knows what fine gold, the qualities of fine gold, and desire fine mm-hmm. gold, they know how precious it is. So whenever you understand, you use wisdom. You leverage wisdom. You gain the peace of mind for wisdom. You begin to understand how precious it is. You know, that's why I use the word fruit. When it talks about fruit, right. it's talking about the yielding. Mm-hmm. It's talking about the, the that's produced. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you see that word, it's tip, it, it means that uh, something is bearing. Mm-hmm. So wisdom is bearing an outcome. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. So I lead the way. Okay. We So we said fine go. And my revenue... Then choice silver, back in that 19th verse. And my revenue, then choice silver. So the 20th verse, I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment. And it has that colon. That, the reason, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance. And I will fill their treasures. You know, but the Amplified, if you go back to that uh, 20th verse, it says mm-hmm. that when it talks about righteousness, here it says moral and spiritual rectitude in every area and relation, mm. which goes back to a contrast between a, what a, a lot of what we're seeing in society today. Mm. They're not signing up for uh, moral and righteous. Uh, in fact, I heard somebody, uh, a, a person talking about the elections, uh, said people will either vote for morality mm-hmm. or they vote for, for the goal, right. for the value. For the, right. for the silver and the gold. Right. Yeah. And, and the one thing that we cannot do as Christians, we cannot sell out for materialistic mm-hmm. things. One of the things that we found as we travel and do uh, foreign missions, one of the things that we found is that people view the United States, uh, view us citizens as being greedy. Mm-hmm. They view the United States of people being self-centered. Mm-hmm. They don't care about one another necessarily. Arrogant. They care about mm-hmm. receiving for themselves. Mm-hmm. 
Now, to, today, some of the jewelry that I'm actually wearing is from Uganda. Whenever we visited Uganda, um, they actually blessed me, one of the ladies there, the hostess, actually blessed me with this. And she gave from her, she gave from her, um, from her personal possession. So the hosp hospitality was so great. They found it better to be hospitable, to show love, to show the love of God, than they did to just hoard it for themselves. And, and I wear this every so often. It just reminds me of how those people love people, mm -hmm. how those people are so in tune to uh, one another and one another's needs. And this is not about me and myself. This is not about what I can hoard, what I can gather, the riches that I can have, because the Lord can, like he did the rich fool, the Lord can call us in right. at any time. Whenever we start storing things in our barn and we, you know, so now my soul can rest because I have enough. You know, I'm going to do all of this to build myself so I can have enough. The Lord can call us in Amen. at any time. Amen. And and if we don't build our, our lives, if we don't build our um, families on wisdom, a lot of this stuff would die with us. That's right. So th that's actually through the 21st verse is where the lesson stops. But we would still like to kind of give you some things from the 22nd verse through the 36th. We know it's getting a little dark out here, but we're out here. You're in the comforts of your own home, so, <laughs> so don't get nervous. <laughs> we're going to go just a little bit further. The 22nd verse says, The Lord possessed, possessed me in the beginning of his way. Before his work of old. Mm -hmm. So the, this is wisdom there with the Lord. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Now, what was in the beginning? That sounds like the Lord. Amen. The, the Lord, the, the, the Holy Spirit, uh, was all there in the beginning. Uh, in fact, when you start reading, if you start doing research on it, you, you, you kind of have to sort through it to say this is not the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's separate and apart from mm -hmm. that. But it is a characteristic, characteristic. of who God is. Characteristic. And that's important for us to uh, keep that in mind that God has a, a lot of dimensions of who mm -hmm. he is. Exactly. And one of the things we should seek is understanding more dimensions of who God is. Right. Whenever we look at the characteristics of God, whenever we read our Bible, let's garnish, let's gain, let's understand the characteristics of God. God won't contradict himself. Mm -hmm. Let's not take something out of context when you read it in the Bible. Take it out of context. But let's try to explore it and understand what God is saying, who he is, and how he is. So, so we're not fooled. We're not deceived. I was set up from everlasting, mm -hmm. from the beginning, or ever the earth was. When there was no depths, mm -hmm. I was brought forth. Mm -hmm. When there was no found, fountains mm -hmm. abounding with water, yes, before the mountains mm -hmm. were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. Mm -hmm. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. I was there. Mm -hmm. Job wasn't there. <laughs> you know, he had that. Were you there? Mm -hmm. Job wasn't there. Wisdom was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depths, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when you hear those winds, mm -hmm. you hear all of this. Mm -hmm. When he gave to the sea his decree, the waters, that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth, then mm. I was by him. So he establishes all of those time frames. <laughs> uh, yeah. All of those time frames. Then I was by him as one brought up with him. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. <laughs> wisdom. The Lord delighted mm -hmm. in wisdom. In, in wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is this this is just this is just awesome. I know as a, as we said, your Sunday school lesson stopped through 21st verse, but this is rich. This is so rich. It is. And it's not until that 36th verse that you get you actually have that conjunction, but mm -hmm. but you saw the comparison and contrast as we were going through there. Just run through that. 31 said, rejoicing mm -hmm. in the habitable parts of his earth. Mm -hmm. And my delights were with the sons of okay. men. Now, therefore, hearken unto, unto me. me. Listen, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep 
my ways. And you see how he went from my son mm -hmm. to oh ye children. Mm -hmm. And that just sounds so endearing. Yeah, it so, sounds so precious and endearing. It just it just sounds like, hey, I really want to mm -hmm. take care of you. I really have something good to offer. You know, as you as we're talking to children, as you're talking to, you know, those who you love that you're just you just find precious. Mm -hmm. Earlier we had uh, some sessions where the children were interacting with some of the um, elderly over the phone <laughs> and the elderly would say, uh, I love you. And one in particular, he'd come back and say, I love you too. <laughs> and it just melts their heart. Mm -hmm. And they, they just find these children so dear to them, so precious. And this is what I see whenever mm -hmm. I read this. Mm -hmm. Oh, ye children, for blessed are ye that keep my ways. Mm -hmm. Here, listen to this, here. So the word here is used in verse six, mm -hmm. verse 33 and 34. Mm -hmm. Hear instructions and be wise and refuse it not. So you got two choices. You can hear it or you can refuse it. Blessed is the man that heareth, mm -hmm. hear it, continue to hear it. Mm -hmm. Heareth me watching daily at my gates, mm -hmm. waiting at the post of my doors. Mm -hmm. Just being there, just being there. You want this. Happy are ye, blessed is the man that heareth me, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. continueth to seek me. Okay, guys, we're going to go back to that 33rd. <laughs> we're going to go back to that 33rd verse. There was another animal that I was, <laughs> I'm not familiar with. It was a raccoon this time. Okay. So, we're going to try to get through this. <laughs> You're not afraid, but, <laughs> but I have to go in the house. Okay, hear instructions and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life. Who shall obtain favor of the Lord? But, mm -hmm. there's that one mm -hmm. conjunction, mm -hmm. but he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All that hate me love it death. Wow. Love it death. So think about all these people who look like they're doing wise in their own sight. Mm -hmm. Who look like they're getting away with things through their own schemes and th through their own uh, cunningness apparently they love death right well and it, it gives you all the benefits of it notice all of the uh, the, the the encouragement you got from accepting wisdom mm -hmm. uh, but the consequences uh, list is short mm -hmm. but it's also certain mm -hmm. okay so uh, thank you guys for joining joining us we don't have any questions for tonight we don't have any questions. We hope that we cover things in an ample fashion for you. Again, if you would like this, um, it's actually extracted, I think, out of grasping the Word of God. I'll show you that. I did not bring it down here with me. I would promise to show you that on next week's Sunday School lesson. Just a book that I use, and it has these literary relationships, and it helps you to understand them. Uh, so whenever you're studying your Bible, you have a, a foundation that you're studying from you have a standpoint that you're studying from but we do appreciate you guys for joining us amen uh if you like this video like us you know just press the like button share it with someone yeah if you found it beneficial share it with someone if there's something that you'd like to see us change by all means you know uh, share that with us so that we can um, give you what it is that you need what you desire to make this a more rewarding a more rewarding uh time for you guys we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Um, you know, we can't come together as one in a building, but thank the Lord for technology. Amen. And again, thank you for joining us. We hope that you've been blessed. And we look forward to uh, having Sunday School highlights next week. Yes. We got to get out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs>